Hi there, welcome to www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at stem and leaf diagrams. Uh, so, stem leaf diagrams are one of the ways you can display data or information uh, in a nice visual way so it's easy for someone to look at and extract key points from their information. Okay, so we've got an example here just to start us off with. A stem leaf diagram, as the name implies, has a stem of numbers and a, then a leaf section with the finishing part of the number. So what you're really doing is you're combining the stem with the leaf uh, to make each number from the stem leaf diagram. So for instance, if we look at the stem leaf diagram, the first number uh, is one and the second is two. So that'd be 12 if we combine them. So the first number here would be 12. That would be the lowest number. The numbers on the leaf section always have to be ordered in a completed stem leaf diagram. So you'll notice that in each row, the numbers are ordered. Now, in the first row, these are all our kind of tens numbers. In the second row, you've got the 20s, third row is the 30s, and fourth row is the uh, 40s. So the numbers in the first row will be 12. Then moving on to the next one, you pair the one up with the three to make 13, 14, and 16. And then second row, 24, 26, 26, 27, 29, 30, 33, 38, 39, and 45 is our highest number. Okay, there's a few key bits of information that you have to have with the stem leaf diagram, and these are the parts people normally forget. The key tells you what exactly the information in the stem leaf diagram represents. So, for instance, here, a one with a three would mean 13 games. In the context of the question, it's saying this is a survey asking people how many computer games they owned okay so one line one slash one line three means 13 games so the first one would be 12 games then 13 games 14 games and so on okay n is how many pieces of information are actually contained within the stem leaf diagram okay so here uh, basically what we're doing is counting the leaf every leaf represents one piece of information okay so we're counting how many leaves there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so we'll get 14 pieces of information for the stem leaf diagram. So let's have a look at the questions you're typically asked. So for A, how many people were there? We've just done that. We've just covered that. There's 14 people asked how many games they owned. Okay, so 14, that's basically your end value. Okay, uh, what was the median and modal number? Okay, so the median, if you remember back to your mean, median, and mode, the median is the middle number. Now, the numbers are already in order in the stem leaf diagram. We don't have to write them all out. You could if you wanted to, but I would advise against that. So the median is the middle number. We know there's 14 numbers altogether. So we're going to split it seven in the bottom half, seven in the top. So we're going to count in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so I'm thinking that's my middle, but I'll check from the other end as well. So starting at the end, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven in either half, just double checking that there. What it's saying is our median is between this six and seven. But remember, it's not a 6 and a 7, it's a 26 and a 27. Okay, and what's halfway between 26 and 27? 26.5. Okay, the mode on the modal number is the most common. And there's only one number in this whole stem leaf diagram that's repeated, and that's the two sixes here. So that's 26. Okay, remember that part partners up with the two beside it. So two, the stem, and then the leaf, 26, 26. So that's the only number that repeats. Um, the range is your highest to take away your lowest. Okay, so the highest number was 45. Take away your lowest number, which is 12. And that gives us 33. Okay, so quite a big range of numbers in that data. All right, so that's your basic um, idea of how you read a stem leaf diagram. Remember that key and remember the N value. Um, it's really important because those are the parts people forget about. I guarantee people forget about them more than anything else in the stem leaf diagram. Okay, so... What you're going to do now, or what we're going to do now is draw our own stem leaf diagram, but we're going to draw back back to back stem leaf diagram. So it's a little bit tricky to draw your own stem leaf diagram. Mine's going to be a rough sketch, but um, basically for a back to back, you're doing two different um, sets of information. So here you can see we've got reading for, uh, information for the men, information for the women. We're going to do one on one side, one on the other. Okay, so a back to back stem leaf diagram looks a little bit different. So we've got, I'm going to try and squeeze this in. So we've got a stem going down the middle, um, and that's, that's okay. Uh, so our numbers range from the kind of tens 
up to the 40s. So we've, we'll start at one, we'll go two, three, and four. Okay, and that should cover all the information. So we'll do men on one side and women on the other. Okay, so the women will start with actually first and um, because that's just like the side we started with before. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through it in order so that I don't miss any numbers. So I'm gonna start with 22, then 18, then 19, then 23. You can cross off the numbers as you do them if you want. Uh, 27, 27, 30, and 29. Okay. So that's me covered all the information, all those numbers. So the eight numbers for the women. For the men, we've got 23, 35, 45, 32, 19, 23. 33, 37. Okay, so what you'll notice here, actually most of the numbers have ended up in the correct order, okay, but they're not all perfect. So this would be called an unordered stem leaf diagram. What we're going to do is we're going to take that and then we're just going to quickly order it. Okay, so we're going to do the same kind of thing. Uh, so um, let's go one, two, three. Four men, women. Okay, and actually, the women's uh, readings were all in order so eight and nine, two, three, seven, seven, nine, and zero. So they were all fine. The men all had one on this side, it was this one, it's fine, 23, 23. This one here, this. The, 30's row was basically the only one that wasn't ordered. Um, so we've got two, three, five, seven. Now we order it from the inside out. So two, three, five, seven. So it's not left to right, it's from the inside, from the stem, and then going outwards through the leaves and then the five at the end. Okay. So we should have, there was eight numbers for each group. So we should have eight, eight leaves on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, we've not missed anything. That would be your ordered back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram to represent this information. What have we forgotten? The key and the end number. So here, I'm just gonna put n equals eight on this side and n equals eight on this side. And my key, would be, and we just choose any random example. It doesn't even have to be one from the table. I'm going to choose one from the table. I'm going to choose three, nine, zero. That's the 30 for the women. It means 30. And it's talking about the ages of men and women. So it means 30 years old. Just squeeze that in there. Um, okay, so that's your kind of key. You can put it in a box if you want. My box is terrible. Um, okay. There we go. So that's our back to back stem leaf diagram, n numbers for each side, and the key to represent the information. And then asks us to find the modal and median ages of the men and the women. Okay, so let's do part one. Let's do the men first. So the mode, let's have a look. What number repeats on the men? Uh, the only one that's in an order is 23 and 23. So that's our most common number. You can see you've got a five here and a five here in the leaves, but that's not the same. This one's 35, this one's 45. So it has to be right next to each other in the same row to be common. Okay, so 23 and 23 would be our mode. That's the only numbers that repeat for the men. And the median. That's actually, let's do the mode for the women as well just now. So the mode for the women and the median. So the mode for the women, is that, yep, yeah, so here we can see again, we've got a nine and a nine, but that's a 19, that's a 29 when they compare, combine with the, the stem. So the only numbers in the same row would be the seven and the seven, the 20, which represent 27 and 27 in our stem leaf diagram. So the, uh, the mode for the women or the modal value for the women is 27 years old. Okay, the median for the men. So the median is the middle number, remember? So both groups have eight numbers. So we're going to split them into four and four. So we'll start with the men. Uh, we're going to one, starting from the inside, working out. 
So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're working up the list here. And then when we're working back, just to check one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's between the 32 and the 33. So that would be 32.5. Okay, you can write years here if you want. May as well, should really write the units. Okay, uh, the median for the women, so again, four, so one, two, three, four, line. And then we're working back just to check. So one, two, three, four. Yep, that's fine. We've got four numbers in each half. So the women's is halfway between 23 and 27. Okay, so it's up to you which way you want to work that out. Add them together and divide by two. That would be 50 divided by two, so that's 25. Okay, so the median age for the women, 25 years. Okay, so that's how you use stem leaf diagrams. That's how you draw back-to-back -back, uh, stem leaf diagrams. Make sure your numbers are in order. Do not forget the key, uh, and don't forget your end values either. Okay, really important that you have them, and or you'll lose silly marks. And then the key and the end values are really easy, so make sure you've got them. Don't forget them. Okay, double check as always um, that you've added everything that you need to, to for a complete stem and leaf diagram. Okay, hopefully you found that useful, and uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit of information about stem leaf diagrams that you can use from now on. Um, for the maths videos and resources, please visit www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. And if you like the video, don't forget to click the like button.